Welcome to your new DDSB School website. This video will give you a brief overview of the main page and which sections are editable by you at the school. Your new DDSB School site is designed to have a modern look and feel, be visually appealing to your visitors, and to meet accessibility standards. Starting at the top, we have vertical banners. These are the sections of your website with sub pages listed below in the menus. Below that, you have your featured banners. Scrolling down the page, we have featured links and your bell times. Continuing, we have school news, events calendars, including featured events, quick links, social media feeds, school board news, and finally footer information. You'll find the verticals and pages have been reduced. This is to make information easier to find and more accessible to your visitors. Remember, your audience is the public, the parents, and the students of your school. The featured banner rotators are editable by you. There can be up to six banners, three of which are reserved for the DDSB to push to your school, and three of which you can control. Below that, you have two featured links. These are selectable by you. You can link them to pages inside of your site or to an external resource should you choose. Continuing down the page, your school news are news articles produced by you at your school. Then events calendars show all the events you have listed in your calendar module. The featured events are events that you select manually to highlight on your front page. We recommend you use something with a graphic or an image attached to it uh, to get your public's attention. If you do not feature stories on your front page, these featured events will be syndicated from the board. The quick links are not editable by you. These are reserved and planned by the DDSB. Below this, your social media feeds will follow. Instagram will take priority, followed by Twitter, then Facebook. If you do not have one of these feeds, associated with it, the next one in line will take precedence. Finally, you have school board news which is pushed from the DDSB. The footer contains information that is basic contact information for your school. Things like your address and your main staff and superintendent and trustee. This information is pulled from the DDSB. This means you do not need to update when principals or vice principals change in your building. 